This year, we continue with uh, premieres. We also wanted to have some reference points into the tradition, the history of the symphony, symphonietta world, and uh, this idea of pairing my new premiere piece together with my former teacher. And uh, also, I think it's the first time the New York Phil is playing music by Gerard Grisset, presenting his beautiful song cycle, Quatre Champs Franchis Le Seuil, for songs uh, all about death and, and the, the way death is thought of in, in different uh, cultures. Gerard Grisset unfortunately died after having finished this piece uh, due to a serious hemorrhage in his brain out of the blue sky. This is a truly stunning, truly stunning piece. I worked with Gerard Grisset in Paris in the early 80s. Gerard gave me a different angle to see how sound itself is part of, of composition, which became to be called the spectral school of music. The whole issue about spectral music that for me became like a revolution was to conceive sound in a different way. I had grown up with music and musical composition being something abstract where you, you create material, you invent material, you find material, and then you, with your compositional skill, you start to, to make composition out of it. With the spectral school, they had a different approach saying that sound itself could be the structural starting point for making music. Look into the sound, open up the, the lid, take your microscope and look how sound behaves in, in an acoustical uh, environment. And from that, you create material that you build composition.